Hi, I'm Gina Maria Garcia. And I'm Montana Frederick, and you're watching the NUTV News Show. Northeastern kicked off its 16th annual Sign Language Festival last week. The three-day event included artistic performances and skits. Ceremonies were dedicated in honor of historic deaf figures and deaf culture. The results are in. Students have elected Nick Naragi and Maya Quijada as next year's student body president and vice president. Their platform will focus on fixing the communication between the SGA and students. California rapper Tyga is scheduled to perform at Harvard's Yard Fest on April 12. Almost 1,500 students have signed a petition to cancel his appearance. Harvard students say they do not approve of his violently misogynistic lyrics. The university recently announced the largest financial aid investment in its 115-year history. Northeastern will invest $204 million in institutional grant aid for the 2013-2014 academic year, a 9% increase from the previous year. Tuition will see a 3.7% decrease. The university commits to the Northeastern Promise, a compact made to ensure that students and their families are able to anticipate the cost of a Northeastern education. Police officers in Dorchester and Mattapan are telling residents to be on the lookout for flash parties, where people enter vacant homes to throw nightly bashes. Social media outlets allow these to happen unannounced. Authorities say the problem doesn't just lie in trespassing into vacant homes and disturbing neighborhoods, but that most guests are armed. Police officers say finding these parties early prevents them from turning into hotbeds of violence. President Barack Obama has announced he will return 5% of his salary to the Treasury this year as a solidarity measure. The President's decision came a day after both Secretary of Defense Hagel and Deputy Defense Secretary Carter revealed they would return a share of their salary equal to the pay lost by the Department's civilian employees. The President's income is a set $400,000 a year. Therefore, a 5% cut would amount to $20,000. The Voluntary Act would be in effect for the rest of the fiscal year, which ends in September. The White House came up with the 5% figure to approximate the level of spending cuts taken by non-defense federal agencies. According to the Wall Street Journal, Apple might release a new iPhone this summer. Their last two models were launched during the fall. Apple is also working on a cheaper iPhone model to compete against low-end smartphones. Sources say production will begin within the next three months. And that's all we have for you tonight, Northeastern. Be sure to tune in next week for the epic season finale of the NUTV News Show.